What time is it my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today I'm going to be adding a new addition to the uh, candy bar textures kit. This is a free update. This is going to be a glitter on white Instagram filter animated. So we're gonna be animating. It's gonna be very simple. So let's get to it. So when you download this, there's gonna be a folder called animated glitter Instagram. You're gonna go into this folder and the first one we're going to do is we're going to click the animated sparkles final PSD and we're going to double click it to open it. Okay, so I have my timeline over here. And if you want to get to your timeline, you just click on it. But when you open this up, it should automatically open up your timeline. So you're just going to press play and it should play the animation like so. All right, so this is going to be super freaking easy. It's not going to require you to do any animating whatsoever. Basically, what I've done here is I've already created layer mask. If you know how to use a brush and just basically paint on and erase off, you can do this. It's very simple. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you want to want to do is get a new image. So you're going to double click this. Um, this right here, this image, and it's a smart object, so you're gonna double click it to open it up. So, and double click it to open it up. And mine might have a little bit of a delay because um, <clears throat> I'm recording. So I have this picture here that I'm going to use. I'm gonna press, I'm going to unlock it first by clicking it. Control A, Control C and then control V. I'm just gonna paste it right on top of this image. So you're gonna always put any image that you wanna animate right over this green chick. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just using the, I press control T to get my transform tool out and just basically transform it. So this is about right for what I want and then press OK. You can delete the bottom layer. Now we're going to go to image adjustments and levels and we're going to just darken this a little bit because when you do the crystallized effect it doesn't really work well on light images so we're just going to lighten it up just a little bit. All right then you're going to press Control S to save that smart object and then close it. Close the original file. No, we don't want to save that. All right, so as you can see, the crystal effect is on top of here that we had on the other image. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase this first and then we're going to redo the crystal animation effect. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on this little black box. Do not click on this square. Do not click on that. That's the animation. You're going to click on here, which is going to select this part right here that we're going to delete. We're going to click the brush tool. Okay. Now this is going to add the, the uh, crystal effect. So you're going to want to hit this arrow key right here. I'm going to move my tool so you can see. You're going to switch it to the black. We're going to increase the brush size by hitting, hitting the right bracket key. And you want to get a hard edge brush. It's hard edge brushes up here, hard mechanical brush, and your basic brushes. And you want to bump the size up because we're just going to delete everything. Okay, there's two animation boxes, one here and one here. Okay, and we're just going to select it all and erase it. Now we're going to use the left bracket key and make our brush really, really, really small and we're going to flip it so we can paint on here. <coughs> now I'm going to make it really small so I can paint how I want. I, I'm going to choose this one because this is the tinier animation and this is the larger sparkles. So we're going to click in this little black box and we're just going to paint like so over the dress area and choose this one to paint over like so and then you can paint over here 
and to get the animation going on the other part of her dress and we're just painting like so it's not really rocket science we're just painting the animation back on over the dress and we're going to select this one and paint I'm going to get a bigger brush so I can paint larger and we're just painting over here don't worry if you mess up you can erase the parts that you don't want by switching back and forth so this is what you call a layer mask so I'm just basically roughly scrubbing where I want everything and then I'm going to go back over and erase the parts that I don't want like the darker areas so um, this is going to be really cool so I'm going to click back here and I'm going to and and I can whoopsie daisy I can get this and wait, let me ma maximize I accidentally hit something okay so you can do an opacity so it has like a gradual effect and I'm just going over the edges so it doesn't look as harsh around the edges here and that looks pretty good and you just go ahead and erase where the areas that you don't want to show up and that's not like too harshly colored and then um, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make my brush really small because I'm gonna do her earring uh, see if that will work and click on the black box here and then if you press play you can see that it has like this really cool effect now I'm going to go back over here and I'm gonna paint some more on the edges and that's looking pretty good and so now you have like a really sparkly dress effect now if you want to save this out you can go to here the timeline and then go to render video all right so <coughs> And I'm going to name this sparkle dress. And delete that and then click render. You can also save this out as an animated GIF. So you're gonna go to file, uh, export, save for web, and you're going to want to choose GIF and make sure you have transparency and you just press press save and then you can save it to your desktop. How you get it to your Instagram, you're going to go to your creative cloud and I'm going to put it in my folder. I'm going to go ahead and close that out and then I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to drop it in there and then I'm going to go over to my phone and I'm going to basically um, grab let's say that you wanted to make this clip a little bit longer you wanted it to loop infinitely I know that these are saving out as gifs but for some reason it doesn't work so well so I like to edit this in Adobe Premiere Pro it's very easy to use. I'm going to show you how to make the video clip a little bit longer. So I've opened Adobe Premiere Pro and we're just going to click on new project and I'm going to call this animated dresses. Okay. And just leave all the settings the same and press OK. And this may take a few seconds. So file, import, and we're going to go to 
the file and we're going to import that animated, um, where is it? Animated glitter. We're gonna go into the example files and we're going to import this. All right. Then we're going to drag it onto the desktop. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it says that it has five seconds here, but when I saved it out on Photoshop, it saved it at zero seconds. And for Instagram, will not allow you to do that. So this is the workaround for Photoshop's gay issues. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why Instagram won't let you have a zero second animated GIF, but whatever. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to write, we're gonna select it to affect it. We're going to right click and click on link. For some reason, we don't need this bottom file. So we're just gonna delete it. We're gonna select this and we're gonna hold down the Alt key, the Option key for Mac, and we're gonna drag this out. Okay, we're going to select it again. We're going to group and we are going to drag it out. Okay, and we're gonna do this until we get to about one minute. And I think we have one minute here. So we're gonna select these all and then we're gonna go object group and press play. So as you can see, this is not an infinite loop. We're gonna make it an infinite loop. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to drag this little time thingy right here. You're gonna select the any and the Audi button. This is the any, okay? Now we're gonna drag the timeline right to about here to the end. Well, right before the end, that's fine. And then select the Audi. I'm not really sure what this technical term is called, but that's what I call it. I call them the any's and the Audis. Okay. And then now we're going to select this lovely button called a loop playback. Okay. And we're going to press plays. And now that bitch is looping. Alrighty then. So how do we export this? Well, I'm going to show you. So there's a little bit of steps. So pay attention. Export media. Okay. Now, usually usually you would select the entire sequence, but we're only selecting this sequence in and out because we want this to be an animated GIF, okay? So we're going to, let's just rename this. Uh, let me go back into here. Where is the full, okay, animated Instagram glitter, click in here. And we're, I'm gonna just name this one minute. Okay, and we're gonna save it in here. And then we're going to press export. All of these settings here, you're gonna leave it the same, okay? We don't have any sound or anything on this, so it's good to go. And it's that simple, okay? So that is how you make your loopy animated GIF. Okay, let's say that you don't know how to use Adobe Premiere Pro or you don't have that application. Well, I found a app in the app store called GIF. It's free, it has no ads, and it will turn your MP4s into GIFs. And the best part is you can slow down the animation or speed it up. So that is pretty cool. And if you go to my Instagram, you can click on the video and I show you how to use it. This is the video, you can just press play. App store to create endless, seamless, looping GIFs speed up or slow down the GIFs and this is pretty cool and you can use this in addition to the candy bar textures kit um, and so that way you can edit your GIFs without having to use Premiere Pro. So you see that it's slowed down. You can slow down the animation if you find that to be like too fast. Ask. If you want to know how I got my Instagram on my desktop, I actually am using a uh, an extension in Chrome that lets you basically upload to Instagram like as if you were on your phone. But the only drawback is it doesn't let you do um, 
like videos. It lets you do IGTV, but it doesn't let you do the videos. It only lets you do pictures, which is kind of gay, but whatever. So um, to find the extensions, you go up here. It's called App for Instagram with DM. So you can DM on your desktop. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. So there's three PSDs in here, and basically they all follow the same kind of stigma. Double click to open it, and then um, you can link the, uh, the file, press OK. The file is inside the folder, so linking the video is no problem. And same thing, double click on the picture, change it, yada yada. Actually, I lied. I'm just going to give you guys the one animated sparkle so that way you guys aren't confused. And then I'm going to release more sparkles later. <clears throat> that way it's easier. But if you want to make your own sparkles, these are all the animated videos in here. And um, basically, um, I'll just go ahead and open them so you can see. So when you open these, you have to convert them to a smart object, otherwise they won't work. So you're going to press convert to smart object and get out your timeline. And I'm just going to shrink this down so you can see. And then you press play and you can see that this is like sparkling. Now, this is um, in Instagram dimension size. So it's like 1000 by 1000. So any picture that you have is going to be 1000 by 1000. So let's go ahead and create a new document. 1000 by 1000. Create. Okay. So now we need a picture. I'm going to get a picture. Okay. I found this picture of this beach. So I'm going to press to unlock it. Press control A, control C. And this is image size. This is 1000 by 1000. So you're going to press control T and we're going to just basically drag down by the edges to make it smaller. Smaller. Okay. And we want to get like a real good area here so we can make it sparkle. Okay. And then press enter. We don't need this background so you can just delete it. I like to make two copies of my background layer. Um, so I'll just duplicate that and then lock it. You just press this little thing to lock it. It looks like a little star. I don't know what the hell it's called. Don't even ask. <laughs> so I'm going to click back on this layer and I'm just going to call it beach. Beach bum. And um, so we're going to go ahead and darken this. Remember what I told you about the pictures, they work better if it's a little bit darker. So we're just going to bump that up a little bit, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so now we have our background set and we're going to go ahead and close this out. No. And then this is the candy bar candy bar sparkle that's what it's called I think it's the first texture I'm not sure okay so I'm just gonna call this candy bar sparkle so we know what it is now remember I told you it's not gonna work unless you convert this to a smart objects very important okay so you're gonna drag this over to your untitled picture and then you're going to just drop it on there yes mighty and then drag it over so it fits in the area then you're going to select the blend mode over here in the layers panel and we're going to select lighten we're going to lighten that bitch and then we're going to click on Leia's mask okay right here and now we're going to take our brush take this and then now you can delete and you can add all right so up here we're going to change the opacity high up here we're going to make this a hard brush okay it's already hard why does it look soft it looks soft why does it look soft it's I don't know, I guess it's Photoshop being gay. If you mess up, just press Control Z. 
I'm gonna move my timeline over here because um, it's in the way. So we're just going to erase whatever we don't want on here. It's pretty freaking simple, okay? All right. So I only want the sparkles to be on the ocean. So that is what we're doing here. All right, so we got that going here. And all right. Just, I'm going to delete some of these bigger sparkles off of here because they just don't look right. You can just go in here and I'm going to actually, I'm going to soften up my brush and I'm going to lower the opacity that way it doesn't look like um, big holes. I don't know. Alrighty then. So we're just going to get this edge, like whatever. Now I'm going to bump up the opacity because I look in the sky and I see that I've missed some spots. I've missed a spot. A spot of tea up in the sky. And I'm going to lower the opacity back down because this edge is like really getting on my nerves here. It just needs to go. Okay. Alright. So we have our sparkle. Now we need to animate it. So get your timeline. Go to Window Timeline, mine's already open, and you're just gonna click this button, Create Video Timeline. Woohoo! All right, so here's the problem. So this animation is not very long, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here and we're gonna actually, unlock your background layer of layer one this is not going to work so i'm just going to delete that usually you like to keep a backup but and then we're just going to make that layer just as long as the other layer okay and you can see that it's sleeping it doesn't matter if it's not that long um, because like i said we're going to make it longer in another application so that's a little sparkle effect. Now I like to do two effects on top of one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer, okay? And we're just gonna leave that blank. And we're gonna go out to our text, our animated textures and get another animated text. I'm gonna use Sparkle Pulse 44 and I'm gonna open it with Adobe Photoshop. All right, so you're gonna click on this and press convert to smart object. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag it over to our untitled document and just plop it right there. Then we're going to adjust it so it is sitting in the middle there. All right. So we're going to name this um, pulse. Uh, I can't spell pulse, pulse, pulse. And we don't need this layer, so we're just gonna delete it. We just had it there as a spacer. And then we're going to select lighten on this one as well. And then we're gonna do a layer mask. So just click the layer mask. And we're gonna shorten this video to the same length as the other ones. So you just drag it down to create a shorter length. Now we're gonna select this area and we're gonna get our brush and we're gonna delete what we don't want. We're gonna put the flow up, uh, make sure it's a hard brush. Sounds so sexual saying that. And we're just gonna delete everything that's not on the water. Okay. And there we go. Sparkle. Whir. And all right. And let's 
see if we can play with the blend modes here. I think that's lighten, screen, overlay, soft light. I like pen light. I'm going to show you guys a trick. So we're on pen light and you see that it has like all these little black dots and we don't want them here. We're going to double click on here and it's going to bring up a secret menu from Photoshop. You're going to press the alt and then take this little arrow and drag it till you don't see the little black dots anymore and press OK. Now we're going to press play. And so that is really sparkly. Okay, so if we play our animation, I'm going to just press play. You can see the beach is sparkly like that. I'm going to save this PSD out for you guys so you have this one. But um, this is basically how you do it. If this is a little just too complicated, you can just use the PSDs. And like I said, you can put your image here. I'm going to convert this to a smart object. So you can double click on here and you can change your picture to whatever the fuck you want. So um, that's basically it. Um, so I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, um, you know, leave me a comment below. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe. Like I said, this will be free and the candy bar... Uh, textures edition um, just go ahead and download it off the creative market or photohacklovers.com thank you so much guys for watching love you peace out